like that I actually recorded this thing <laughs> anyways today uh, this topic is going to be a creative way of uh, processing a sample um, because the thing that you could normally do is if you have that thing loaded up as an audio file um, for instance this process I'll take import audio file I'll take the same audio file that I just used that's the monk thing that sounds like that that, that one um, I'll snap this thing, uh, turn snap off and put that thing all the way to the beginning of the timeline, right there. And the next thing that I could do is use something that's called time stretching to make changes within the sound itself. Um, that could be kind of interesting from time to time. Um, now you can figure out where, yeah, there you are. Uh, if I press the control key, you get that time signature next to the arrow right there. Um, if I stretch that like that, I make it faster. So it's time stretches faster so it sounds like it's a little bit more like uh, compressed like there's not really a pitch change taking place with time stretching that's the cool artifact with this but it sounds like it's really rapid in a way uh, but I can also make this like an effect twins approach making the time stretch really long like that so I can create a really weird sound effect from this whole thing like we are now inside of the matrix that's one reason why time stretching for instance is sometimes really cool if you want to and you are using uh, ASIO for all you can create a new audio track and use the record source as well in this case it could be the master section or it could be uh, any channel that's out there um, and record the incoming audio but in this context I cannot really do that because I have over here a setup where I'm using a DirectX driver that has everything to do with the way that I'm recording this whole thing so I cannot really show you in this current context how this setup would actually uh, work like but you can resample this particular sound and throw that inside of a new audio track and reuse that audio track to do your bidding more or less another thing that i really like about audio tracks over here is let's say i have this audio track by a tear i can say bounce this clip to a new sample i have this new sample that's the glitch sample that i'm really reusing right now so in this case i don't have to re-record the whole thing again i can just delete this sample right there I can uh, recreate a uh, new instrument that's going to be a NNXT loop player, right, or a NNXT sampler. I can say browse sample, and if you're using, uh, uh, for instance, uh, Reason 8, you can just drag the sample right inside of the NNXT. In this case, I have to load it up because I'm, in this case, using Reason 7 in this current state. <coughs> Anyways, I have loaded up the same sample. And that's my glitch sample right there. Time stretch. But if I want, I can also reuse the same sample in its original state. I can say import audio file. I can load that up again. I can go back to the sequencer, double click on the track, say again, bounce clips to new samples. I have the new sample right there. Go back to the sequencer or go back to the rack. Open up that sample that I have right there. It's the same sample, but in this case I have the time stretch version and the non time stretch version next to each other. As you can hear right there. In this context, I can do something really creative if I want to. I can say, okay, I have the time stretch version right there. I can pan that thing to the left. I can duplicate this file, like let's say copy zones, right click, paste zones. I have an exact duplicate of that sample. Pan that thing to the right and increase the fine tune amount right there. Which basically means that the sample that I have selected right there will run a little bit faster next to that one and next to the original sample that I have. So I have two time stretch versions, one goes pitch uh, upwards, make it a little bit faster, and I have the original version next to that whole thing. And 
that sounds like that I can also loop this whole segment where I think okay I just want to loop that whole thing by using the forward playback mode like forward loop it just goes from start to finish then start to finish and start to finish that's forward loop or I could do the whole uh, creative way that I'm going from forward backwards so it basically goes from forward to the end loop and then from the end point back to the forward point so it basically reverses the whole sample while it goes backwards but because this is really long sample it will probably take me some time to get there so I'll just speed things up <laughs> Can somebody please kill the cat? Thanks. <laughs> but I think you get the idea. Uh, because this is all, uh, well, creative um, yeah, sound manipulation that I'm doing right now. I can also create like a FX Twins kind of effect using a utility that's going to be the RPG-8 again. I've done this in the past. I'll just do it again really quickly. I'll set the velocity, um, I'll set the velocity to sample start point right there. Right there. set the sa uh, sample start point a little bit upwards so it really starts within the sample itself right there I'll crack up the release just a little bit and I can go like that um, I can also cr and crank up the rate like that so in this case I'm actually creating like a granule synth out of a NNXT loop which also has a time stretch version next to a uh, original sample uh, yeah that's a creative way of thinking um, anyways this was just a little bit of a nutshell on how you could manipulate something that's already existing and manipulate that really fast using an NNXT um, have lots of fun ah, oh, oh.